Good evening. This is Carla from the Learn English by Speaking English show. And I am here to speak with you in English. And today I have Solomon Latif with me. And I believe there are some other people coming. And I'm very excited to speak with you. As you know, I changed the time and the day, and I'm try doing my best to remind you guys, but you're not used to it yet. So I know it takes a little time for you to get used to it. But this time of 9 p.m. in Pakistan seems to be making a lot of people happier because it's easy, it's earlier. And I totally understand. Having said that, I want to welcome you to the show. I am Carla, and I have fun doing this. We, there are a few rules that I need you guys to follow. And also, I want to remind you, please share this out to your friends and family and friends to be, because the only reason someone is not your friend is because you have never spoken to the person in your life. Everyone can be a friend, regardless of race, color, or creed, as we would say in the US. Here on this show, it's more who you are. We're interested in meeting you. The rules are very simple. If you're a boy or a man, you need to have your camera on. The reason being is it makes it a lot easier for, for you to understand because you see the facial expressions. I see your facial expression. And sometimes you're a little nervous and I'll tell you to smile and it, it helps. For the ladies, I'm a little lenient because I know some ladies cannot come with their camera on because of the family value. So I have no problem with that. But if you can and you're just keeping it off because you're afraid of showing your face and making a mistake, that's not a good reason. We come to speak. We come to get out of our comfort zone and getting out of our comfort zone does also include showing your face. And all your faces are beautiful. And if you need to come with your knee jab, covering everything but your eyes, that's perfectly fine. Number two, remember, because we are speaking in English and we need to hear everyone clearly. Please keep your mics closed until we're ready to speak with you. It just creates order in the classroom. This is a classroom. Tambear, if you put a smile on, you'll find yourself relaxing. It'll help you. So even if you're faking it, your body doesn't know you're faking it. You're the only one who knows. So fake it a little. You'll relax and it'll be easier for you to be here. Number three, all my guests are perfect at this right now. Everyone's wearing a nice shirt. No one's wearing underwear or coming undressed. You must be dressed appropriately. And now I'm getting a smile from Tan Bear. And number four, which is also important, this is a classroom. And in a classroom, we don't lay down. We keep our, we sit up straight. And I expect that. If you don't do that, then I'm going to have to remove you. Again, this is a rule to make this whole show go very, very smoothly. And having said that, because I need to share out a little, and remember this show is also on YouTube and you could always go back and watch old shows on YouTube at any time. And also on this page. 
having said that, I'm going to ask Solomon to introduce himself, please. Thank you very much, Carla. Hello, everyone. This is Solomon and uh, Carla. Once again, thank you for having me on this show in this classroom. Um, I am a communication trainer. I work at RVSoft. I teach English and I teach using the direct method. And I love teaching uh, English using the direct method. Um, because it is very interesting, it's quite intriguing, and students, they learn quite faster with it. So that's about myself. How long have you been doing this? I've been teaching using the direct method for about five years now. Okay, is... now... In the United States, we don't call it the direct method. And I want to, we just call it speaking. So is this a way of teaching that you are taught in Pakistan and you call it the direct method? The direct no, it's not. No, it's not. In Pakistan, usually English is taught using translation I, um but we, we go on but, but we don't do that the direct method is that you uh use your gestures or props um to teach english and you don't use any word um of the native language you don't translate anything you just teach directly um using your body language or gestures or props this is what the, the, the direct method is. And of course, you engage the audience, I'm mean, like your students, you make them talk, they learn first, and then they repeat and talk about whatever you've taught them. So it's like getting them check right on the spot what they have learned and what you have taught them. This is what it is. This is what the direct method is all about. Okay. But in pack, you call it the direct method. We don't do that. So I'm just wondering where that terminology came from. It's one of the methods, um, like the translation method and the direct method. Um, but if I'm not wrong, uh, Maximilian Berlitz came up with it. And then, you know, it started, um, it, it got developed over the years. And although there's a Berlitz method too, but specifically it's known as the direct method, which is widely used in, you know, different English teaching courses like CELTA or TEFL, etc. Okay, and TEFL, we call it eyelids. What do you, where does TEFL come from? Uh, so TEFL is different from IELTS. TEFL is about learning how to teach English. IELTS is just a test to gauge your English um, proficiency. Okay. So th there's a difference between the both. Okay. I'm just learning myself as we go along. I am so happy to have you here. Unfortunately, I deleted the directions on how to get here. So I have to type them in today. Is there anything else you would like to share while I do this? Um, maybe, maybe we can talk to Huang. Well, She's well, here. Hello, well, Huang. Yes, Huang, yes. please introduce yourself and then we'll start coming to our guests. Hello, Kala. Hello, sir. Suleiman. Hello. Hello. Okay, introduce yourself, please, Huang. Uh, Can you hear me? The, yes. yes. Thank you. My name is I'm from Vietnam. Huang, 
I think she, she's frozen. Oh, yeah. Bad okay. internet. Okay, in a scene. Huang, you seem to be frozen. Go out and come back. Close your Zoom and restart everything and come back. If you can hear me. Okay, let's go on to Tanvir and find out who he is. And I'm going to ask you to do the conversation so I can get this typed in and then shared out. I'd be more than happy to help you over here. Hello, Tanvir. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hello. Great. Thank you very much. Tanvir, would you please introduce yourself? My name is Tanvir Hussain. I am 27 years old. And I belong to Multan, Pakistan. OK. And what do you do? A, I, I am currently doing a job, nine to five job. OK. And what do you do? What's your job? Um, job is uh, computer work, mostly computer work, forms. I punch the forms. I enter the data from the forms into a software. Mm -hmm. Is it a data entry job? Yes, yes, you can say. So is it is it a government job or a private job? Yes, it's government job. Great. So what, what department do you work for? Department, my department is judiciary. Oh, that's lovely. So you you work uh, maybe in the high court or? No, district courts. District courts. Well done. Great. Lovely. And and what do you do in your free time, Anvir? Free time. My uh, I have a wish. Uh, I have a passion of uh, doing something online. So mm -hmm. I am uh, always searching for some online work. Uh, and watching videos for online work right so you want to work online or do you want to you know make videos and um put them on um on youtube no no i watch videos that how to uh, for the learning purpose uh, that how i can work online on different platforms right so you want to start your online business thing right Yes. So. Okay. All right. So, so, so tell us, um, tell us about your daily schedule. What's it like? How do you spend your every day? My daily schedule is, uh, uh, first of all, I. Uh, Excuse me for one moment, and we'll get back to you. People are asking how to get to the show. All you need to do is have the Zoom link, the Zoom app. And once you have the Zoom app, you go to GiggleFest University. I just put it in the chat, gigglefestuniversity.com and click on that link and you'll get the, the link for the show. It's very, very simple. I know it's harder for you to read today only because I had to type it in on the show and I can't do what I normally do. But that's all you need to do. Very, very simple. And Solomon, maybe when he's finished answering about his job, you can remind everyone about that because it does get a little, become a little difficult for some people. All right, okay. Yeah. Do you want me to do that in Urdu? No. In English? In English, we right. are English. the English show. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, so yeah, um, Thanvir, you were telling us about your daily routine, your everyday schedule, maybe. Yes, I What's have it like? three, three, three children, two kids are school going. So first of all, we prepare them for school and uh, 
get them to the school and uh, uh, after uh, after the school uh, i uh, ride to the office office closes at 4 5 pm then uh, i uh, go uh, then i uh, sorry go ahead go ahead you're doing a great job well done very good excellent job Great. Thank you. If you keep apologizing for yourself, you're going to waste the time of speaking. Don't apologize. Just keep going. You're doing a great job. You are here to make mistakes. That's exactly. the purpose of the show. So Thank you. do it and relax and have a good time. That's why I'm telling you to smile. It will help you get through. Trust me, I know what I'm saying. And I know the first time you come, it's a little more difficult. So let's make it a little easier for you. Just talk and know you can do it. Okay, you're doing beautifully. Back to you, Solomon. Thank you. Well done. All right. So, um, yeah, Thanvir, you were telling us about what do you do after five o'clock then, once you get back home? After five o'clock, uh, uh, my children have a tuition. So I take them to the tuition and uh, pick them. After that, uh, I watch videos and do my research for the online work then i go to sleep 10 to 11. that's, that's, that's amazing my very very busy indeed all right so do, do, don't you get time to watch tv no i don't like to watch things okay and and how do you spend your weekends Weekends. Weekends. Uh, uh, I live in a city, and my uh, original house is in a village. So every weekend, uh, my ch uh, children say that we go to the village. So weekend is spent in the village. Great, lovely. And and how do you spend your time over there in the village? Do you enjoy the nature, yeah. or? Yes, yes, exactly. In the nature, in the fields of, um, uh, I have some fields of wheat, uh, we grow cotton and some other uh, cereals. That's lovely. Great. And and when do you plan on starting this business that you want to, online business? Uh, I started uh, approximately six to seven months ago. I am doing very much research, but I do not stick to any one uh, any one business or uh, idea. So I am having some confusion in mind that uh, I am uh, jumping from one uh, one field to another field. So I'm not focusing, I'm not keep myself focused on a single field right okay all right so we've got wang and she's from vietnam wang would you like to introduce yourself yes hello can you hear me now yes we can yeah. oh i'm sorry uh, i don't have good connection wang, today come on you can't apologize for that it's not your fault just relax I want to remind everyone, please remember that when you're coming to the show, you need to first make sure you have the Zoom app, go to GiggleFest University, click on that link. Actually, you don't even have to do it. The link is in the chat. Click on the gigglefestuniversity.com link, join, um, go live with Carla, and you'll get the link for the show. It's very, very simple. 
it's not written as clearly as it normally is because I can't make the breaks that I normally make because it all disappeared on me. But at the same time, that's all you need to do. It's simple. And after every person, we should remind people that because they're not going to easily be able to read it like I normally have it set up. Okay, go on. Hoang, don't apologize. Just do your introduction. Okay, Kala. Thank you. Thank you, Kala and everyone. My name is Hoang. Yes, I'm from Vietnam and I'm a teacher, a lecturer in a government university in the northern part of Vietnam. I have been teaching marketing economics and international business for more than 17 years with more than 10,000 students. And right now I'm living and working in a city. It's about 100 kilometers away from home, from my uh, capital, uh, Hanoi. Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam. Yes. So uh, I got a PhD uh, in 2015 in economics, uh, six years ago, right? And after that, luckily in 2018, I got the Fundrise Scholarship uh, to study in India, New Delhi, India for 13 months uh, about international business. So I'm so happy uh, to be here with you to talk with uh, international friends from different countries, different cultures to learn more and to get to know more about you people uh, from the world on this uh, planet. Thank you very much, Kala and everyone. Very well. What did you do today, Hong? Thank you, Carla. Today I got a hectic day for me. Um, in the early morning, I got a meeting with some friends and then I had two classes with my students. And also this evening, I have finished my Zoom meeting with my members from different countries as well. And right now I'm happy to be here with you. Thank you. Okay. And what so you, did you just go to work? Did you do anything for fun? Actually talking with people to gain more knowledge, to share some experiences, that's my uh, fun and favorite thing. Okay. So you're here pretty regularly because you're helping out. Would you like to speak to someone who's new and say hello to them while I'm getting this shared out? And everyone, remember, share this out to your friends and family so they know we're here. Many people don't know that we're here at this time still because it's a new time. And anyone that I have spoken to either on Sunday or Monday, you will be the last for us to speak to today because the, the new people get priority. Okay, thank you, Hoang. I'm so glad to have you here and I hope everyone's sharing it out. Jawad, we haven't met you before. So why don't you say, hello, unmute your camera and Hoang, you can speak to Jawad. And I will pop in off and on. It's taking longer for me to share out because of needing to get that typed in. Hi, Javad. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Javad Alicia. Originally, I'm from Pakistan, but I live in England. My okay, sister. Javad, do me a favor. You are speaking way too fast. Remember, the sounds are different in English from Urdu. And although you are in England and you're used to speaking fast, when you're talking to an international audience, you need to speak a lot slower. And there are people from all over the world watching. So I need you to slow 
down. Okay. Hoang, go on. Yes. Thank you. So, Ajawa, Ali, Shak, right? The full name. Correct. So, how to call you shortly, sir? Sha, you can call me Ali. Oh, Ali. Wow. So, Ali originally... is Sha. Yeah. Okay. So, are you from Pakistan, right? I, I born and raised in Pakistan. Okay. So, but right now, are you living in the UK? Yes, I am indeed. But for what purpose? Well, it's a long story. I've been here as a student, but I live permanent. I live here for the last couple of years now. Uh, but well, that was interesting that I hear from you that you've been doing teaching for the last 17 years. And well, that, that was our studying for, unfortunately, not anymore. <laughs> uh, so I can't regret that. But well, it is what it is. We can't change anything. But yeah. And it was really here that you've been to India for 13 months and you're really interesting to learn new cultures and to speak with different countries, you know, multinational languages and different people. So it's nice to hear. Well, thank you so much. All information no you got it. Thank you so much. So can you no tell us uh, what do you do for the living? Uh, well, Right now, I work for Amazon. Is a Amazon associate. Uh, work in Amazon warehouse is a picker. So probably I know a lot of people, like majority of people, knows about Amazon. Uh, but how Amazon work, might they don't know they how they work. So I'll just explain a little bit. The warehouse I'm working that's fulfillment center the people who order the products. So we are the ones who fulfill their products requirements. So we pick, we pack, we ship, and we do all the customer services. So as a bean picker for me, I'm the one who we can start the product process and then we send it to packers and then, you know, the shippers and then they take into their houses. So that's how Amazon work and that's how I spend my life with Amazon. <laughs> wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that's I understand that because um I have been studying international business, so that's why international tourists as well. Uh but something privately I want to ask you, like uh, are you staying there alone or with your family? Wow, it's an interesting question. <laughs> uh, for the time being, yes. Uh, no, no, I would say not for the time being. When I get here, yeah, differently. I was single and I was 21 years old, but it was just for a couple of years. But then I met someone's the lover of my life. And I'm really proud to say that because, you know, as we said, you know, we are interested in multi languages and, you know, cultures to know. So I met a girl and she's from Poland and we've been married for six years. So me and my wife, we live together. Wow. Do you have any children for six years, right? Hmm. Well, uh, I'm really sorry to say that, but we had a miscarriage twice and now she's pregnant for the last 14 weeks. Mm. Yes, so congratulations. You're going to uh, right. be really her father very soon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So Hopefully. Can I make a quick announcement? There seems yeah, to please. be having issues getting to the link. I can't help you with that. If you are having issues, what I suggest is one, you just start all over. You close your Zoom, you close your browser, you close your phone or your device and restart. 
it could be that your internet connection is too slow. That's all I can tell you to do. There's nothing else that can be done from my side unless I could come and do it on your computer. So, you know, I'm very sorry that's the situation. It does happen depending on where you are and the time of day and all different things. Some days it doesn't work well. We can't do anything about it. Even if I sent you the Zoom link, it's not going to help you. So just relax. We'll get to you if we can, if you can get on. And if we don't, there's always another show next Wednesday. Perhaps, no, Friday, unlikely, because I have to do another show on Friday at this time. But you can always come again. And if you're under 20, 20 years old or younger, you can always come on Sunday. So, you know, I'm going nowhere. I've been doing this for over four years and I plan on continuing. So relax. That's all I can tell you. Okay. And Javad, please remember you need to speak slowly. Your English is beautiful. I'm wondering why you have decided to come if it would, if only to improve your confidence. Uh, well, th thanks for asking that question. Honestly, the knowledge, for knowledge, there's no one we can say we are all enough, uh, no one is best. There's always something that we need to improve um, if you are with me, right? So it's for me to be pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me and this is, for me to hear more and to learn more things. That's what I'm into. And that's why I'm I'm trying to give my time to, I really appreciate your efforts because in this age, you're trying to give to other the best and trying to improve other, you know, multinational, like, you know, especially for the young guys, you know, to give them th that confidence, the one they don't have it. Like, you know, as, as look at Tanvir, you know, we have heard him. Look, he's struggling and he is not the confident, but we still appreciate him that he get the time and, you know, to start to learn something. This is the biggest thing. They know if you don't give a time, if you don't try to learn, you will never change your life. When I get to England, I was worse than Tanvir. Tanvir been spoken for a couple of minutes. Trust me, I wasn't able, the only, I wasn't able to introduce myself. The only thing I was saying, oh, my name is Jawad Alisha, I'm from Pakistan. That's it, nothing else. But as it being work with English people, as it being living in England, things got a lot of people saying to me, even a lot of people, I would say thousands of people, they are complimenting about me. They say, you don't look from Pakistan because you're speaking fluent English. I say, no, all I've learned here because I'm trying to learn new things. That's the only way. I've learned a lot of different things. As we said, I would really, I, I would be glad if he just shared me the things that he's doing online. Because as I said, I work for Amazon. Is it being associated? I'm doing some affiliate programs, which is I'm learning. I wanted to be affiliate marketer. So that's online things. Um, I've started to do uh, Facebook advertisement, which is that is, is an, uh, online. So I wanted to do, to make my e-commerce empire. <laughs> I'm sorry to use that word, but, you know, it's just kind of interesting that, you know, if you do something online and, you you know, uh, you can get something from it. So, yeah, why not? Definitely. And that's the whole point. When you come, you said you'd like to speak to let me, Tan Bear. Tan Bear. What you need to do is make him a Facebook friend. 
And then right, you okay, yeah. have a long conversation. And I suggest you do the conversation in English. Because the well, yeah. more you speak in English to each other, the stronger your English will grow. And your not only will your English grow, your confidence will grow. Now, <laughs> Tamir just wrote, can I speak to Jawad? I'm going to let you do it, not for very long, maybe two to three minutes. But when you make yourself, you take the time and allow people to become your friends here, then you have another aspect because we're limited in the time that I can give you. And because of the times change, there's less people here than normal. So there's a little more time. But, you know, people are writing to me. I can't get there. My, I'm seeing the host is in another meeting. No one could be here if the link was not working. So that you need to change on your side. I can do nothing about it. I'm sorry, but you need to check. You need to re reboot. Maybe open up your, re empty the cage in your browser. But I can't help you. I can't come over and do the changes for you. You need to do them yourself. Okay, I'm going to give you a few moments, but we have someone else coming in right now. So I want to be able to talk to everyone, and I only have 20 minutes left. Okay, you have a few moments to say hello to each other. Hello, Javad. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah. I am also, uh, I am already studying Amazon wholesale as in my subject. I am studying Amazon wholesale for last three to four months. And uh, I want to ask Carla that if we can exchange any WhatsApp numbers. You can do if that you... on your own. You need to make friends what? with each other on Facebook and you do that on your own. It cannot be done here. Oh, That's what okay. Carl has mentioned. They, you know, we can swap Facebook. So then we have connection with each other and then we can go from there, whatever you wanted to ask or what, if you've got any questions, any problems, or you know, we can sort that out and through Facebook, what's, what's up, but that can't be done in here. So yeah, we can exchange. You need to contact me later. Thank you. And people have made lifelong friends here just by talking to them in English. That's why I say come in with your Facebook name because you can click on the name, find that person and speak. But I will not have those exchanges having, happening here. It's not safe for you guys. And it really isn't good for me either. It, all of this is on Facebook, on YouTube, it's on Facebook. You don't want the world having your information. And that's what you would be doing if I let you do it here. No problem. No problem. I am sorry. I cannot get over there. You can keep barking, but I'm not going to go get you right now. I told you ah. when you can come. Ah. And he's talking back. We are ah. Ah. witnessing a dog who has a lot to say right now. But a few months ago, he wasn't barking. So I am happy he's barking again. Bodhi, you know how to get yourself unhooked. Go do it. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. I'll ignore you from now on. Okay, it's very hard to ignore that little guy, but he's not giving me a choice. Jabba, did you want to say anything else? And we really do need to move on. 
Uh, well, to be honest, uh, as I've said, you know, thanks for having me. And I, I was in to, you know, to just join the meeting because I've got an appointment and I need to go. Obviously, it's uh, about quarter to five here and I need to be get there for five o'clock. So I've got just like 10 minutes drive. It's around the corner. But um, well, hopefully, hopefully, you know, I'll try to join it next time. And it was a pleasure to meet everyone. So have a great time. And I'll just sleep for now. Great. Come again. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Love you. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Okay. Bye. Muhammad Alam. Hi. How are you? Please introduce yourself. You need to open Hi, everyone. Mohammed, you need to open up your mic. Okay. Uh, are you here? Okay, my, okay. My wife? I'm, I'm here. Oh, Absol, you need to wait a moment. Um, hello, everyone. Someone who got here before you. You need to wait, okay? I'll get to you definitely. Hello, everyone. Hello, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, uh, I'm 21 year old. My name is Mohammed Alam. I'm from Karachi. I am from Karachi, Pakistan. I'm a student and self-employed. And my future goal is becoming an entrepreneur because uh, society need entrepreneur, not uh, businessmen. Okay, I am currently working work in uh, e-commerce and facebook facebook ads uh, facebook ads and i am launching a new brand in pakistan or in in a future other countries but but uh, right now i am launching in pakistan bin sultan i am I'm a newbie is uh, because I'm struggling uh, speaking English, but slowly, slowly I will speak. Okay, I'm going to start with my first question. Why do you yes. think there's a difference between an entrepreneur and a businessman? I don't see Be it. Because a businessman is a uh, passionate for money and entrepreneur is a passionate for uh, uh, solving the problems solving the problems uh, the right uh, <laughs> okay but actually you're still that is a very good answer but you're still doing business as an entrepreneur. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, uh, I'm trying to solving problem, solving the problem people's, uh, I, I'm friends, uh, I, I will becoming and uh, sorry, uh, talking about the problems of uh, business and business opportunities with uh, I class friends and I'm trying to becoming an entrepreneur right now I am a self employed okay an entrepreneur is self employed an entrepreneur and someone can correct me if I'm wrong is also a businessman Rehan Alawala is an entrepreneur. He works for himself. But believe me, he is also a businessman. Yes, I'm yes. Starting a coaching pro program right now, if you're interested, it's on my profile page. But it's a whole thing of, it really is one and the same thing. But as a person, you may be more interested in dealing with people as people than as a business. Okay, they told me I can't do this. I cannot help you. As an entrepreneur, something that you may, you can do whatever you want at any time you're doing it. 
Does that make sense? Solomon, someone, <laughs> tell me about to, to me, it's all about profits, right? right. There, there won't be any entrepreneur if there aren't any profits. So both cases, in both cases, you have to have profits, right? Right. That's what I believe. But I, I guess once again, Juan can help us out over here. She's the one teaching business management. Right. Thank you. I was going to ask her too. Hoang, can you quickly do that? Because I do want to get, where did Afsol go? Hopefully he'll come back. Okay, Hoang, can you ex help us with this? Hello, are you talking <laughs> about what I got distracted? Maybe explaining about the world. You're not listening, Hoang. The words businessman and entrepreneur, right? Right. Is there really a difference? Mm, actually, uh, a lot of people, they are businessmen, but not entrepreneur. So thinking like an entrepreneur, uh, something different. Yes, totally to become a leader. Yep. Okay, what is the difference? That's what I'm asking, but you weren't listening, so you didn't know. Remember, we have two ears to listen, one mouth to talk. There's a reason for that. Go on. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so here's a difference. Here, you know, businessmen, you can go for trading, buying something, selling something. But uh, entrepreneurs, not like that, not only for uh, selling or uh, buying something, you have to take responsibility for the staff, for the community, for um, a lot of things organizing as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> But still, isn't an entrepreneur a businessman or yes, a businesswoman? That's the point I was trying to make. You're right. If you're working for someone, you don't have to take full responsibility for that company. But you're still a businessman, correct? Or, or am I wrong? Yep, obviously, Carla. <laughs> Why do you say obviously? I think it's very clear for everyone, right? It's just some, um, you can become businessman or business person very easily, like a try to, uh, you are buying, purchasing something, selling something, but when taking responsibility for uh, take care, care, take care, um, taking care of other people and their life, their work, their startup living, that you become entrepreneur and the leaders as well. Yep, thank you. Very good. Um, before I forget, people are saying, add me to the show. I cannot add anyone. You need to download the Zoom app and then click on the Eagle Fest University link, which is above in the caption and also in the comments. I cannot do anything else for you, but give you that direction. Okay, um, Alam, Muhammad Alam, what do you want me to call you? You still haven't told me that. Sorry? What? Do you want me to call you? Do you want me to call you Muhammad? Do you want me to call you Alam? Do you want me to call you Muhammad Alam? My name is Muhammad. Alam is a family name. Do so, so, so you call, call me Muhammad? Okay. So, did you get the answer to your question? To my question? Do you understand now? Okay. No, do you understand what we're saying when we talk about a businessman and an entrepreneur? What did you learn? 
sorry i'm not hearing your question what did you learn about a businessman and an entrepreneur businessman is a uh, all about passionate for a uh, money but entrepreneur is all about passionate no did you listen to what we just spoke about okay were you listening uh, your voice is slow uh, your my network okay your network is slow oh uh, yeah yes and if your network is slow you may not have heard us did you hear what we were talking about don't just nod your head say yes or no did you hear the conversation um uh my english speech is not uh No, whoa, 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 whoa. You never say that on my show. You never say my English is not good. You are here okay. to learn. You're interrupting that. Okay. You are here to learn. You are here to make mistakes. You are here to say I don't understand. But you never ever ever say i don't speak good english okay i'm Why? learning english please don't interrupt me so, okay. i don't interrupt you if you're here to learn you're using your ears and you yes. are listening. you interrupt me again and i will stop talking to you trust me you have two ears you can only learn when you open up your ears you have one mouth you can hear and listen more than you can speak you speak by listen you learn by listening and when you don't know you say i don't understand but this is a classroom you are learning you're not expected to know everything i don't know everything huang does not know everything solomon doesn't know everything i hope they agree now that i've said that but you only learn by learning to listen what did i just tell you yeah. what did i just tell you thank you for no i asked you a question what did i just tell you this is important for everyone in the room even me what did i just tell you uh, do you tell me uh, between entrepreneur and businessman no what did i just tell you about listening and speaking what things required for best uh, Your internet is too slow you missed it unfortunately You learn by listening You speak only what you know And you own you learn by from other people by listening If your internet is slow you may not be able to get it Oh, and I understand. But this is important for everyone in the room. 
no one knows everything. So you, we all need to learn to shut our mouths at some time and open up our ears. Do you understand what I said? Okay, what did I tell you? What did I just tell you? Because it's very, very important. Anything do you need? Say that again. I don't think you're hearing me. I say anything do you need? You tell me. You know what? Your internet is too poor. You're not hearing me. I'm going to move on to the next person. Maybe you will be able to hear it from him. But you need to learn to listen more than you speak. Okay? Okay. And that goes for everyone. It goes for me. It goes for Solomon, Huang, everyone in the room needs to learn to listen more than to speak. It's very, very important. And I will always take a lot of time to talk to people about this. Huang has heard me say it many, many, many times. And you won't always hear it the first time. You'll hear it the more often it's said. Okay, but I do need to move on because we're already over time. Okay, Muhammad mm -hmm. Afzal, do you want to introduce yourself, please? And please smile. You may be nervous, but please smile. Okay. Better. Please introduce yourself. Uh. My name is Muhammad Afzal Mew. I am from Kasur, Punjab, Pakistan. Okay. I am uh, here uh, to speak and uh, learn English how to speak. Okay. Our conversation, I listen and uh, understand uh, two things. Uh, before I talking in this room, first we have uh, two years and listen carefully what are speaking here. Yay! Thank Go you. on. Second, we have one mouth. Uh, after listening other person, then we can uh, speak better. Excellent. I am so excited. Thank you. And what, how did you find the show? Uh, I learned uh, a lot of things uh, from joining, not only joining, but uh, sometimes I'm only listening to uh, Facebook. So these tips uh, uh, will be uh, useful for me. Uh, when I speak in uh, English language. Excellent. Most I... of, Go on. Most of the time, uh, we uh, miss uh, uh, your tips that are given uh, every session, but when we recall it and uh, practice day by day, we will succeed uh, to implement and these tips uh, uh, when we are speaking other person, as well as listening other person's conversations, uh, it will uh, increase our speaking power as well as our confidence. Excellent. How do you feel? Uh, I, I am uh, only connect uh, one and uh, two times only. But when we speak here, I, uh, uh, my confidence uh, will improve when, they, when we uh, speak here. 
Excellent job. Thank you. May I give a compliment to? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's yeah, give. Yeah, you're, you're an excellent listener. You Thank know? You. That's amazing. Great. Very good listener. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Um, you want to say something? Oh my God. He spoke very beautifully, you know. His uh, listening skin very patiently. I'm also very surprised. Thank you. Thank you. And I believe you are a friend of Rayhan's, am I right? Please, uh, I don't understand. Are you one of Rayhan's friends? Uh, friends. Do you know Rayhan Awawawa? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear, but uh, under don't understand what your question is. I asked you if you were one of Rehan Awawawa's friends. Uh, it's not important. What kind of work do you do, Muhammad? At presently, uh, I am learning the graphic design software. Uh, and it's on my... You may want to concern, consider taking Ray, the program Rayhan and I are setting up where you can learn directly from Rayhan Awawawa. I am learning uh, from uh, YouTube videos as, as well as other groups I join. There uh, we they we teach uh, different kind uh, of tools for us. So uh, when uh, we learn uh, uh, YouTube as well as other groups, they are uh, main uh, medium uh, of uh, teaching is uh, English. So it's necessary for us to learn uh, how to speak and uh, understand the language. Very good. Do you know Jasmine Shamali? Uh, no. No? Okay. I have you confused with some... Yeah. Anyway, you did very, very well. And yes, you may always, Muhammad Alam, I thought I recognized you. Yes, you may come again, okay? Um. Any other questions? Because I really need to get off very soon. Uh, I have a question from our participants. Okay. If they have uh, any time, uh, we want to discuss each other uh, before joining your session is very beneficial for other, for us, just like uh, Sir Salman Latif Saab and other there uh, guide guide us how to speak confidentially, uh, confident because we have uh, some knowledge, but we are can't uh, 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 gain confidence how to speak. You are doing very well. The more you speak in English, the better you're going to get. So come back again. Make friends with everyone who is online. 
I know Huang will take anyone to speak English with. <laughs> and she wants to do it every day. And if she could, she'd do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I am sure Muhammad Alam would be happy to be your friend. I am sure, I'm trying to get rid of the glare. I am sure Tan Bear would like to be your friend. Just click on these names and become Facebook friends. And when you talk, you don't talk in Urdu. You talk in English only, right? Okay. Solomon, do you want, would you become Muhammad's friend on Facebook? All right, cool. That's nice. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, what about Tam Bear? Do you want to become friends with Muhammad Afzal? Yes, why not? Wow, wonderful. Muhammad Alam, do you want to become friends? See, you have four people already who will become your friend on Facebook. Yes. Just become friends and then you will learn from each other. Okay? Oh, okay, thank you. You'll do very, very well. Unfortunately, we need to end the show now. We are definitely over time. So I will be back definitely on Sunday for the people who are 20 years old and younger. Possibly Friday, but the show I'll do on Friday, I'll post here and you guys can come and join because I have another show that I need to do on Friday. And definitely on Monday and Wednesday of next week, I'll be here. Who's going to come and speak with me in English? Yeah. Yay! Come and speak with me. And if you are under 20 yeah. years old, and the dog is yeah. really getting upset now, <laughs> if you're under yeah. 20 years old, come on Sunday, but I don't think there's anyone here who is younger than 20 right now. So, can we all wave goodbye? Bye, Bye everyone. We'll see you next week. And we are going off air.